Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna get a little more in depth with creating components. And by the end of this topic, we will be creating our own card component. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In today's topic, I'm gonna get a little more in depth with React components. As we've discussed in the previous topic, a component is a section of reusable JSX code. It's HTML-like code that can contain JavaScript. I thought today we could create some card components. Card components are fairly popular with React applications. Typically, they involve a picture, a title, and a description. You can use cards for all sorts of things. In the previous topic, we did delete all of the contents within our app function. Let's go ahead and do that now if we haven't already. And we'll delete these imports. We will not need them for this lesson. In the previous topic, we did have a style sheet for our app component. We can delete this too. We are now ready to begin. Within our source folder, we will create a new file. The name of the component will be card. This is a JSX file. JSX meaning JavaScript XML. Our components will be function-based. Function, type the name of the component, card, parentheses, then curly braces. We will be exporting this component so that we can import it elsewhere. So type export, default, the name of the component, card. Within our card function, we will be returning some HTML-like code. We'll begin with the div element. We will be applying some CSS styles. We will need to set the class. However, with JSX, class is a reserved keyword. To set an element's class, we have to instead use class name. Do pay attention to the capitalization. The N is uppercase. Okay, we will set this div section equal to card. So cards typically have an image. We'll include an image element. We'll set the source later. They usually have a title. We'll use an H2 element and a description. We'll include a paragraph. For our H2 title, why don't you go ahead and type in your name? I'll type in my YouTube channel name, but feel free to use your own name. Then let's add a description. For the description of your card, type in what you do for a living, or if you're a student, what are you studying? For me personally, I make YouTube videos. And add a hobby of yours. I make YouTube videos and play video games. So far, so good. Let's import our card component just to be sure that it's working. Within our app component, I will at the top import the name of the component, card, from a file location. These files are right next to each other. So I will type dot forward slash card dot JSX. Within our app component, we will return, within the return statement, list the component we would like to return. We will return our card component. To include a component, within angle brackets, type the name of the component. These are typically in pairs. You need an opening tag and a closing tag. And there's our card so far. We'll be applying some CSS styling momentarily. There is a shortcut in place of using an opening and closing tag. Take the opening tag, end it with a forward slash. That's also valid. Let's head back to our card component. We'll include an image. Within our opening image tag, it is good practice to set the alt attribute just in case this image can't be displayed, or if somebody is using a screen reader, the alternate text will be displayed or read out loud. We'll include a profile picture for us. Let's set the alternative text to be profile picture. We're going to set the source attribute. Now, I recommend pausing the video and finding a profile picture of yourself from, you know, Facebook or Twitter or whatever you use for social media. Pick a smaller picture. Something around 200 by 200 pixels would be decent. If you don't want to follow along, you can include a placeholder image just for this lesson, which you can get from this site. This will be an external URL. HTTPS colon two forward slashes via dot placeholder dot com slash 150. That will give you a placeholder image. Otherwise, if you have an image you would like to use, I'm using the profile picture for my YouTube channel. All we gotta do is place this image within our assets folder. 
From our card class, we will import that image. Import. Then we need a name for this import. I'll name my import profile pick from a location. So we need to navigate to the assets directory, then get our image. Dot forward slash the assets directory slash the name of the image. So mine is profile and it's a JPEG. Yours is likely going to be different. Do pay attention to that. Profile dot JPEG. For the source attribute, I will set this equal to a set of curly braces. Then we will include our profile pic that we're importing. There's my profile picture. Depending on the dimensions of your profile picture, it might be fairly big. You may want to choose a smaller image or otherwise within our CSS file, we can change the dimensions of the picture. Okay, let's head to our CSS style sheet. We already do have some global CSS properties already applied, but I'd like to start fresh. Let's delete everything within the CSS style sheet. That should eliminate all CSS within our web page. We will select the name of the class, card. Remember that with JSX, we use class name, not class. Within our index CSS style sheet, let's select our card class. I'm going to go through the CSS properties real quick. We should already have some experience with CSS. Okay, let's add a border. Border, one pixel solid. I'll set this to be black. I do like using HSL values. I'll pick a light gray color. Let's set the lightness to about 80 for the border. I'll set the border radius to be 10 pixels to round the corners. The corner should now be rounded, as you can see here. I'll add a box shadow. The first value is for the horizontal offset. The second is for the vertical offset. The third value is for the blur radius. I'm going to pick a lighter color though. So I'm going to select black, change this to an HSL value. But I'm going to change the transparency to be 10%. So 0 0.1. That is not bad looking. Okay, let's add a little bit of padding. 20 pixels. Padding is found between the elements and the border. So if I were to increase this, we have more padding, but let's stick with 20. I'll add some margin. Margin is for the space outside of the border. Let's go with 10 pixels. I'll text align center to center the elements within. Text align center. I'll set a max width for the card to be 250 pixels. Then I will set the display to be an inline block. In case we have more cards, they'll at least flow within our container if we have more. Because normally divs are block level elements. Okay, so let's work on the card image next. We'll head back to our card component class. We'll add a class name to the image element. Class name equals, let's say card image. Go back to our CSS style sheet. We are accessing our card class, then access the card image class within. I will set a max width. I will set a max width to be 60% of the width available. I will set the height to be auto to automatically resize. If you would like a circular image, you can set the border radius to be 50%. I'll add a little bit of margin on the bottom with margin bottom 10 pixels. All right, let's work on our title next. Going back to our card component, let's add a class name. The class name will be card-title. Going back to our CSS style sheet, we will select our card class, then select the card title class. With my card title, I will set a font family to be pick a font. I like Arial. I'll set a backup of sans serif in case Arial can't be displayed for some reason. 
I'll set margin to be zero to remove any margin. I'll set the text color too. We'll set the color property to be pick a color. Again, I'm using HSL values. I'll set the lightness to be 20%. Now let's change our card text. Going back to our card component, within our paragraph element, we will set the class name to equal card dash text. Going to our CSS style sheet, we will access the card class, then access the card dash text class. I'll set the font family to be Arial as well. And I will change the color. I'll set the lightness to be 40%. Again, I'm using HSL values. Ah, uh, maybe 30. I would say that looks decent enough. We have now created and styled a card component. Within our app component, we can reuse the card component. However, if I were to add another, well, JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. Our return statements are only designed to return a single element. You can enclose all elements within what is known as a fragment. It's an empty set of angle brackets. Then technically we're only returning a single element. We now have two cards. However, they are identical though. And we can use this card component whenever we want. I can include four if I would like. All right, everybody, so that is us making a card component. In the next video, I'll discuss props, where each component can have different values, because we don't want all of our components to look the same. And that was some React practice by making a card component.